Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a basic form in Monday.com. Uh, this is just going to be enough to get you started. There's a, basically an infinite amount of possibilities for th information you can collect in forms. So this is just to whet your appetite. So I, I've created just a, a basic form or a basic board named how to make a form. I haven't made any automations. All I've done is deleted the basic items. So first off, let's explain sort of how forms are populated. So you actually work at it backwards. First, you want to ask yourself, what information do you want to gather on your form? Right? And then you make the columns to collect that information. And then Monday itself will create the form of the form <laughs> or the shape of the form, however you like to phrase it. So I am going to do a basic form for client leads. So for this, I want to collect information from potential new clients. Let's just say they're going to click on my website and you know, I want, I have basically a contact me button and I want to know I, uh, some basic information from them. So here, here's the things I want to know. Let me pull this over. I want to know their name, their email address, their phone number, what it is they like me to do for them. And then I uh, just to sort of showcase, showcase this, uh, functionality. I want to do a drop down so they can choose either to be contacted by email or by phone. Uh, especially with today's, uh, actually let's do call, text, email. Let's do all three. Uh, especially with people my age, a lot of us prefer to be text, texted first. Again, depends on the nature of the business. I don't think I'd want my doctor texting me, but if it's a uh, something a little less serious, like uh, I believe my vet actually texted me once, which is interesting. All right, so anyway, that just is, that's just a tangent. All right, so that this is the information we want to gather. So we want name, address, email address, phone number, I uh, nature of the inquiry. How do you want to be contacted? So we are going to delete all of our sort of template basic columns. We're just going to start fresh. So most of the time, you want to have the person column for to assign I uh, people to a task, but we're not doing that right now. This is literally a data repository. We just want to collect the information and then at some later date and time, you can decide what you want to do with it. So the first column is going to be the client name. So we want that to populate with the name they put in. And then we're actually going to use text columns for most of this. So we're going to create a text column for email address. We're going to create a text column for phone number. Oops. Another one for nature of inquiry. And what else do we do we want? We have nature of inquiry. Oh, and we want to do a multiple choice. So we actually let's do that as a status column. We want to do a status column for how do you want to be contacted? And then for that, so let's just say Bob. Quickly. That way we can change our statuses. So we're going to label these text. Well, let's do them in the order that we prefer. I'm just for basic psychology. Call, text, email. And so now we have where the, where the information is going to go. So now we have the form or the, you know, basically data repository locations, the cells in our database. Now we want to make this into a form. So we're going to go up here, we're going to click on add view, and then you're going to add a form view. So as you can see, this is, this is if you made no changes to it. So let's just say this was good. I don't want it to be called how to make a form though. So actually as it is pretty good other than the top part. So we're going to edit the form. And we're going to rename this to, uh, I don't know, new client request or contact us, I guess, contact me. And then your name and then email address, phone number, nature inquiry. That's all pretty simple. The last one we're going to rename to how would you like to be contacted?
you can add a logo. So if you have a logo for your organization, add it there. But otherwise, this looks pretty good. So we're going to preview it. And there you go. This is this is what the form's gonna look like. You're gonna and then once you're happy with how the form's gonna look, you're gonna hit publish. And now you've got a link to your form, and this is this is the magic. This is what you need to give to people. That this is the link you need to give to people for them to, to do it. So if you have a contact me button on your website, this is gonna be your link. They don't need to see it. It's just gonna you, they're gonna click on the button. And then we'll just copy paste up here for the sake of this example. And they're just going to be created by this screen. And let's test it. So my name's Adam. My email address, let's just do, we'll do my Gmail. Phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nature inquiry, just a test. And how would you like to be contacted? Call, text, or email. So we're gonna, I'm young, text me. And then congratulations, your form has been submitted. And now if you go back into your spreadsheet, we're gonna go back into our main table. You're gonna see there's the client information that's been sent to you. So now you have the data that you wanted to collect and you can use this data however you'd like to use it. You can, you know, automate it. You can assign people. Like if you have a uh, automated text program, you can have this information sent to your text program. Or you can, you know, let's just say you have one person that does the texts. You could, by using the text status, you could actually automate it to assign your texter, <laughs> the young person in your organization, to text it. Uh, if you have another person who, you know, you have a receptionist. Uh, or a, I guess, intake specialist that does the phone calls. You can reassign it there. You can, if you wanted to have additional boards where you had like a call text board or a cold versus warm lead board, you can have it moved to those additional boards. Uh, really, the, you know, the possibilities are endless once you have the information. That's why, obviously, contact, getting people to fill in the information is, and, you know, give you basically permission to contact them is 90% of the battle. So having this very, very clean form uh, to gather that information and automatically input it into a usable format is extremely powerful. So that really is all there is in, into making a form. You can use most different types of data entries. You can have a date for, you know, when would you like for us to contact us? I, you know, you can have number of categories, all sorts of different things. Just depending on what you need it to do, I would suggest you stick more to text and drop downs and maybe check boxes. Uh, just the nature of forms is the less less is better. Get them on the you know get them in your system and then uh, get a hold of them as soon as possible. And then you, you know that, that's just good business sense. All right, well I hope this was useful. If you feel like I missed any aspect of it, let me know. Happy to do a follow up. Uh, if you have another topic you'd like me to cover. Let me know, know that as well. I enjoy making these videos, but I'm running out of some of the easier topics that I, I know that are asked quite a bit. So if you have something specific you want me to cover, I'm probably more than game to do it because it's just fun to problem solve in Monday. I mean, that really is sort of the joy of it. All right, thank you for, thanks for watching. Bye.